Well, you know, being outside is good for the mind. That is evident by all of the state parks filling up during this pandemic. One young woman found this out and has been keeping a journal. Those notes didn't go to waste. A new friend, a better outlook on life and health in writing her own book was actually a great diversion for her. WMER2 News' Don Harrison shares her story. Maryland Therapeutic Riding in Crownsville is an equine treatment center. Instead of putting your feet up on the couch, you tack up a horse and go for a ride. Lorelai Sims is a volunteer here. She was looking for something to do, so a neighbor suggested this. That was a year ago and she hasn't let up since. MTR is a great alternative for standard therapy. Instead of four walls and a doctor, you get a little ranch therapy with the feel and smell of a horse and this scenic 25 acre farm in Crownsville. What Lorelai didn't realize yet was the horses were helping her. She just got out of the hospital for anorexia. She was in bad shape when she went in. Pretty much multi-system organ failure. And, and that's when she met 23 year old ex show pony from Texas, Rue. She was with me and I kind of had to be there with her and she kind of gave me a purpose for doing what I had to do. And what she had to do was get better. The hospital helped, but wasn't quite enough. Mother Nature gave Rue those big ears for a reason. Just they listen to you. And even though they are animals, they do show reactions because they're so gentle and kind and they're just always there for you. Lorelei is a testament to the healing power of horses, their ability to um, have authentic connections with each other and with people. Hi, are you ready for your ride today? Sims was so motivated by her new four-legged therapist, she wrote a book, The Path Towards Sunshine. This young author from Serena Park is shining a bright light on such a dark problem. I think by me being able to express my feelings, it'll resonate, it resonated with a lot of people who they may not have been diagnosed, they may not have been hospitalized, but it makes them feel as if they're not alone, that they are not the only one going through this and that there are other people who have gone through this and have gotten better. You doing good? This therapeutic riding experience has been so impactful for Lorelai that she's going on to college to study equine facilitated psychotherapy. In Crownsville, Don Harrison, WMAR2 News.